Dr. Anthony Fauci accused of trying to rewrite history during a fiery hearing on Capitol Hill about the origins of COVID and his response. Do you agree that there was a push to downplay the lab leak theory? Not on my part. Really? Really? Wow. Wow. I think, I think most of the country would find that, find that amazing. I still got 11 seconds. We got well, look at the facts. I've kept an open mind throughout the entire process. Are you nuts? There's no way he kept an open mind throughout the entire process. Our next guest was among the first to call for a full investigation into COVID-19. Jamie Metzl is the author of that book. It's called Super Convergence. He joins us now. Jamie, there's no way he's not rewriting history by saying that he was open to all aspects and theories. So, Brian, as you know, I was at the center of this debate from early in 2020. I'm a Democrat. Um, I'm actually a fan of Dr. Fauci, but it's just irrefutable that certainly over the course of 2020, Dr. Fauci was saying over and over again that the overwhelming weight of the evidence supported the natural origin or the market origin. And the right answer at that time was, hey, we don't know. There's a real possibility it could be a research-related origin. There's a real possibility it could be a natural origin. And we are going to investigate all origin hypotheses. By putting his finger on the scale in favor of the natural origin hypotheses, I think he played a role in suppressing the kind of essential debate and, and ultimately investigation that we needed. This is what drives me nuts about him, Jamie. Everybody understands you can't get everything right. He could say, I was wrong to label it a conspiracy theory early on, but came to learn that it was absolutely a chance. Even, that would be more plausible than, what are you talking about? I never said that. Here is Anthony Fauci talking about the possibility of a Wuhan lab leak. Is it possible that COVID-19 was the result of a laboratory-related accident? Oh, absolutely. And I keep, like I mentioned multiple times, I keep an open mind. I feel, based on the data that I have seen, that the more likely, not definitive, but the more likely explanation is a natural spillover from an animal reservoir. Is little, the hypothesis. Yeah, and a little bit different from the, from the stance he was taking. The other thing that he made it uh, really clear, that when it came to the vaccine, he was playing very aggressive, and everyone knew it. He was going after your job. He was going after your education. He was making sure that you got that vaccine. In fact, that came out with Dr. Rich McCormick, turned congressman, and he was very frustrated by it. He played an excerpt from a book on tape when Fauci let everybody know where he stood on this. Listen. You believed an institutional should make it hard for people to, to live their lives so they'd feel pressured to get vaccinated. Can we re, re, uh, run the audio clip on that, please? you think can be done about it i have to say that i don't see a big solution other than some sort of mandatory vaccination you want to come to this college buddy you're going to get vaccinated yeah. big corporations like amazon and facebook and 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 all of those others are going to say you want to work for us you get vaccinated and it's been proven that when you make it difficult for people in their lives they lose their ideological <laughs> and they get vaccinated Use the word BS. That's the thuggish Dr. Fauci, isn't it? Well, I, Brian, I'm a, I'm a big believer in vaccines. I believe the COVID-19 vaccines were really great vac vaccines that saved maybe tens of millions of lives around the world. But there's a debate to be had about vaccine mandates. On one hand, um, the vaccines played a really important role in helping us open up our society. On the right. other hand, it now appears that a lot of the coercive measures actually maybe had the unintended consequence of creating adversaries where that wasn't necessary. So I hope uh, that we can have engagement education uh, campaigns to bring people into the conversation about vaccines and their ethics and safety. Jamie, uh, real rapidly, six feet apart, Anthony Fauci says, I don't know where that came from, not based on science. S. Redfield, is that responsible leadership? Well, in those days, there wasn't a lot of information. We've, for 100 years, we've asked our public health officials to kind of round out the edges, say everyone should get a polio vaccine. And right now, that's what they were trying to do, and they didn't have all the clinical data. Right. And that's what, they, this is what happens when you try they to... They jammed us down their throat. They, yeah. Jamie Metzl, thanks so much. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.